Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. Today is gonna be a bit of a milestone for the game. It's the 100th, 140th day of the game and I'm gonna give you guys a review on how the game is so far, what have, you know, what has been released, what has been good, what has been bad. So without further ado guys, let's dive into this review. Okay guys, so we're doing this review because we're nearing definitely the 6th month or the 180th day of the game. So we're nearing 6 months. Obviously, they're uh, they're going to be celebrating this. Um, we're going to be having probably rewards during that period. And I um, just want to emphasize that let's start with the right things that the developers have done. Because... I want to give credit where credit is due and um, number one definitely on my list is going to be the figures. So without these figures actually we won't be stuck to this game, we won't be <clears throat> no glued to this every day playing this and how detailed it looks, uh, artwork, voice acting, you know story. Uh, the figures actually really, um, you know, put it all together and makes this game very enjoyable. So, <clears throat> again, hands down to the devs who've been creating characters, who've been creating figures, new figures. Um, hands down, the design is pretty much very, very good, especially for 3D. Um, I don't have any complaints. All kudos to you guys. And... Um, the other thing, the second thing that I want to acknowledge you guys is um, this event. I hope you guys would be able to continue this because this event gave me um, I um, Akino. Um, I got her to. I I pro if I didn't spend, I probably got her to around three star. Um, three star, what do you call this? Three star peach. But right now, I'm I have her at five star peach. So because of that game, I was able to probably mine her for free up to three star. I think up to four star even. Again, this is a sample of a very good free figure event because not only do um do uh what they call this do do pay to win players um enjoy this um it's also enjoyed by free to play players so again this event is actually your blueprint guys um i'm not saying that you roll this out every now every time you release a figure but at least you know, try to have a sec a part two of this, probably a different concept. But again, the way that this game um, helps us um, mine or farm for shards of of Ayakino is actually very good. So, again, it, this just requires your time and in, in logging in, and serving food, and then cooking here. Let's say, for example, I'm gonna cook this. So that is the only requirement for this. You just have to spend time um, logging into the game and doing tasks. Um, and who would who wouldn't want a good figure to be mined or to have at least a couple of copies for free? So again, this so far this is one of the best events that you've had. So again, kudos to you guys for bringing this event out. So I'm gonna be finishing up this up later i'm going to go to the third one okay the banner release intervals are pretty much very friendly because uh let's say for example if we have this banner we had a banner last i think for the past two weeks it was vivian and i think they haven't released anything for the past two weeks i think so we have a period wherein we could save up currency for probably the big upcoming event that is coming and it's most likely the collab. So 
um, it's a good way of not just releasing banner after banner. It's it actually helps the community in saving up currency for you know for pulling for these banners, saving you know saving especially for free to play. But it really also helps um, pay to win players as well. So that is my third one. The banner um, sequences is one of um, my. I think you've done a good job at this because. Um, for what I mean by sequence is we usually base our what they call this our banner releases based on Taiwan Chinese and Japanese servers because they're ahead of us but now you have you know kind of mixed it up and at this point nobody knows who is next so that I think is also good because it keeps the player base excited we are not um you know we're we're, we're ah, okay it, it, it this figure is going to be next so at least now there's a bit of a surprise or kind of a thrill in terms of who's coming next um i know it it it's actually good that you know who is next but um there's also a wow factor especially now that we didn't know that the a, the, the slime collab is coming in it actually was a very good surprise. So again, one of the things that you're doing right, the sequence from the other servers, you're, you're not applying it to global or Southeast Asia. So that is actually very good. Um, the other thing that I would like to point out is what they have done well is the concept of a dorm or in this case, the otaku. So the otaku has been one of the things that uh, really, really, you know, keeps me excited. Although I haven't really given time to this recently, but definitely the otaku is one of the things that is unique to this game because of the type of, um, you know, the, the, the type of heroes we have because they are figures. So definitely they will need shelves to display in. So let's do... Just leveled up my otaku. This is actually my second otaku, guys. So as you can see, shame on me. I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really gotten to designing the second space. So I will leave it as is for now because um, as long as they're there, it's okay with me. So otaku, I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, it's a figuring concept. They're supposed to be shelved. So the dorm system is the otaku. So and also just want to go back to. The zone one, this one, the Otako, um, I forgot what the name of this bar is. It's the collection commemoration. This is also a brilliant idea to bolster up units in the end game. So um, this is not really hard to level up. Uh, really, really a good um, additional buff to all of your figurines. Okay, but provided all of them reach 220. So, again, this is really specific for Endgame. So, Otako, one of the best ideas, one of the best things that I have seen in any game and any concept. <clears throat> okay, so just going to go further with the things that they're doing, right? Um, the store is one of the things that I think is very free-to-play friendly. There are there are ways here that you could get um, your yellow rarity a lot here at the Otaku store. Of course, you have to save up this, which is very easy to save up. Board game as well, very easy to acquire, very easy to save up. Club store, this is one of, I think, my gripes later. I'll just go to that. But majority of the items in the store are very easy to, you know, to acquire. Farming here for figures is very, very good. And once you reach 220, the recycle store opens up. So again, lots of freebies to farm. So again, kudos to the store for how you designed it. And again, guys, the last thing on, you know, what they have been doing right is the collaboration. So the first that we had, of course, is Atsuni Miko. Uh, we'll be getting slime uh, collaboration probably next week or this week. So hope, cross my fingers, it's going to be this week. But definitely, there is Ultraman. There is, I think, AI Kizuna. 
So I'm thinking of four collabs in mind right now um, that I know of. So three incoming, one existing, and the collabs really a hit with the fan base, the player base, and you know players could not ask for more, but more collabs for this game. So again. Collabs, I think, is the icing on the cake on what you guys are doing, right? Um, based on what I've experienced in other games, this game really hits it right on the nail when it comes to Collax. So very, 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 very good. Okay, so apart from things that they are doing right, these are things that they need to improve. Okay, so what I'm referring to is, it's just an example, okay? So Gaming Carnival, sometimes this is closed and sometimes um, it's really hard to farm for these. We need this for the store as well. Um, how I wish that some of the content are fixed and let's say, for example, this ends in three days, three hours, then you cannot farm for this anymore. So again... It's sometimes a disappointment for me. I don't know about you guys. So if you are disappointed of this as well, please put them down in the comment section. Actually, all of your comments, whether uh, what you like about the game, what you don't like about the game, put them down in the comment section below so that you know the devs could be aware of at least what they can do to improve and what are they doing right. So again, um, all of these, the, this, this limited time event, I don't like these because your farming is actually cut by these. So some currencies are stuck, like for example, the gaming carnival and other content, which is our limited time. I, ho I do hope that they put this as regular content, not limited time events, because they just come back anyway. So again, that is one. Um, the other one that I would like to, you know, I would like to more or less give a feedback on is these events that rotate they are good farming events don't you know don't don't get me wrong but these events are kind of kind of are just fillers in terms of if if they're not releasing any content for that week they would drop this and that's just it 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 becomes expect it becomes um what they call this you expect it, it becomes routinary, and there's no creativity to it anyway. So I hope that, you know, in the future, we could roll out a similar, you know, farming mechanic, but in a different type of, it's no longer a baseball event, um, probably some kind of event similar to this one that we could farm for, for these guys, and, um, you know, just break the monotony of it. This just rolls out, especially if 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 there are no events or or figures to come out during the week. The, uh, also, this is Zoomies Express project. These are you know pops out as fillers. So fillers, I I get it. It's okay, but definitely be more creative about it. Okay. So that's two. The other one that I would like to see is balancing out uh, figures. So, some figures need balancing. I'm just going to give you guys an example of who needs balancing badly. Um, Midori needs balancing. She's good when you're starting out, but you can never really use her most in most of the content. Midori needs balancing. Uh, this girl, it has a lot of potential Rico, but definitely she needs a, re a, a balancing. So a lot of reworks in the game. Hopefully they could just rework these characters because, or these figures, because they are, you know, they're good, but they cannot really put your team beyond what you need them to, uh, um, at least up until the mid game. I would not, you know, I would not say that they would really make them OP. Like for example, Vasily here, yeah, he really has a good stun, but definitely he needs other, you know, other, you know, other things in his kit that could make him be more feasible in the in the mid game. Rico in the mid game as well. Um, who else? So Vasily, Rico, Sanada kind of needs something as well. Um, you have Midori. 
who else? <laughs> Ryoma. So th those are five that really need a a rework badly. Hopefully these you know these figures can be viable in the mid game if they you know, they're, they're given reworks because again um, I know you will eventually change to other figures but for those who are beginning and are in the mid game. These are mainstays that they could use, hopefully. Especially, I'll give an example. When I started this game, I started using Midori and Rico. So, I, I quickly realized that I really need more. I need more firepower. I need more staying power um, that I can't rely on them forever. So, I had to skip. I had to fast track my summoning. Um, I had to spend. So, Again, if if they had something that could just uh, bolster these characters, these figures, they can be really used in the mid game. So that is one of the things that I think they should address as well. And one of the things that there was actually a question in one of in one of um, in one of the posts. What is the purpose of the club? Because of that player came in where <clears throat> this content was was closed the playground is closed so we only have one one co-op content for this game so if this is closed definitely we don't have any other co-op content so that person's comment is why should i join a club wherein all we have to do is sign in every day so that's a good question because he did know that um, Winter of Destiny is going to open. I don't know when. There's no timer here. But again, <clears throat> my my point is why not give additional events for co-op for club? Because while we're waiting for Winter of Destiny, you have to have something to you know keep the players um, busy while this is closed. So again, um, sometimes... Some of the content here don't make sense because they lack something. But if you just put another game mode with co-op for the club, I think players would be happy to play that as well. So, <clears throat> also, while we're here in the club... Sorry, not the club. Let's go to the Brawl Club, not the club. <clears throat> okay. Have you noticed that um sometimes you don't have any you know you're not really inclined to play pvp because the reward system is not favorable for you to rank up because let's say for example even from 1000 to 999 something the incremental increase is very small that's five so up to 11 to 100 it's only a 40. And if you want to maintain between 10 to 1, so from 40, it increases to 50. So if you want to increase in, in a placing, in your placing, it's only increase of five, 5 diamonds. So there is no no really big incentive to really fight for PvP for the rankings if that is the case. That's actually my opinion only. So again bolster up pvp because players are more likely to showcase their powerful you know powerful figures here and really really compete for the ranking so what i'm saying is from one to ten please do give out a bigger uh bigger reward for their player base because that is just what i'm asking you can just retain from the lower up to 11 to 100 then increase the rest um, of the diamonds because diamonds are more or less what people are after here for the summons so again this if this would be um you know improved in terms of rewards then i think it would be better for everyone and last and but not the least is we haven't really we haven't really received any codes for a long time. Please do give because, again, there are new players coming in 
and this is the only thing that uh, is gonna help them you know give them a little bit of a boost when they're starting so that's it again when we started it's we were a little bit lucky because there were a lot of codes during the start but right now um i hope the game would you know be able to release at least five codes per month three even just to supplement you know um, a little bit of uh, enjoyment for the community so that is it guys so again i encourage all of you to um put your comments down below what do you like about the game what are what do you like what do you dislike so far after 140 days um also comments on how they could improve the game comments because again this would really help our community in the future i'm sure the developers are really looking forward to your comments your suggestions on the game um, i just did this because i wanted to share with you guys my opinion and also probably if we did give them feedback they could probably tweak something before the sixth sixth month anniversary of the game of the release so there you go guys so hopefully i could hear from you i'm excited to hear from you your thoughts on figure fantasy the game that we all love and enjoy and i really enjoy this from day one even from the soft launch so thank you guys for staying this far so for those of you guys who have been watching my videos um and have not subscribed yet please do um your subscription really helps a lot and um i really thank the community for supporting me for you know for negative or positive um comments because again i you know i welcome those because i'm only human i also want to improve and i thank everyone for supporting me whether whether it be a harsh comment or a good comment, I thank you for that. So anyway, guys, um, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.